Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is going to be the Sports Fanatic News NBA team preview slash projection since our fine season has already started. And this one is going to be on the Charlotte Hornets. The Hornets, of course, are just an interesting team from the get-go with a lot of young talent. They, of course, have the big baller brands, LaMelo Ball, LaVar Sun, who is a very good player um, starting out. Um, he's a guy that's just going to continue to get better and better. He averages 11.5 already, 4.3 rebounds. And 4.2 assists starting off pretty good and almost two steals per game. So he's also getting in those passing lanes. The Charlotte Hornets also have two twins, which is just an interesting factoid for their team. And Caleb and Cody Martin, the guard in uh, Caleb, I believe, is the guy that ends up playing more out of those two. And Caleb averages 7.4 points per game in more minutes than Cody and also about a steal per game. And then you got, obviously the big key for Charlotte is the addition of Terry Rozier, Scary Terry. Uh, he's a very, very, very good player when he's consistent. His biggest issue is just consistency. Um, consistency is key with Terry Rozier. He, of course, is another guy that Boston took back in the day. He took a while to get going, 2017-18, when injuries prevailed. For Boston, he was really able to step up. And now this year, he seems like he's really able to make himself a focal point of the team if he keeps going. Because thus far, he averages 23.2 points with 3 point steal, two rebounds, excuse me, 2.8 assists and a steal a game. So Terry Rozier, if he can average over 20 per game by the end of the season, that would be huge. Their next biggest key, though, is for having a chance to compete. I think their ceiling for the Charlotte Hornets is being able to get into that playing game that's going to be exciting and fun to follow towards the end of the season this year. But I don't think they're going to be much better than that. I think they're going to get into that playing game potentially or be right outside of the play or be a scrappy competitive team. But a big thing that relies on is Devontae Graham stepping up and having another good season. Last year, he did really well. This year, not so much yet. Uh, he's really struggling so far early, not shooting well from the floor, only averaging nine points when he doubled that last season. So he needs to get going. It's still early, and there's nothing to worry about at this point. But you just really need to get him going and get other guys <clears throat> obviously going more and more. A guy that I want to see continue to get better myself, if I'm looking towards the Hornets, is someone like Miles Bridges, who was picked out of the first round. Uh, well, now it would be four years ago since it was 17, but really still about three years ago since the year just started. And he's a good player, like a decent player, but hasn't become that player people thought he could be yet. So if he becomes that, that gives them a much better significant chance of getting into the postseason and really competing there. And then obviously another young cat <coughs> like Malik Monk, excuse me, uh, if he can come in and play well, that will really, really help as well. Last year, he averages 10.3. So if he's able to come in when he does and play better, that would be big. But I think the addition of LaMelo Ball, who they, of course, acquired, I think Miles Bridges get another season. The addition of Gordon Hayward, who's a veteran, in with those young cats to really help settle this team down and let them kind of just run in the motor of the league, who also almost averages 19 himself so far, and 5-5 five and five and almost two steals a game. I think he's a pivotal addition for this team to be able to potentially get into that playing, because otherwise this team was very young, with Jefferson as their other good young cat developing their power forward, but they did not really have the veteran guys to be able to settle everyone down. They have a semi-veteran 26-year-old Rozier at point guard, but then have a complete straight-up veteran in Gordon Hayward now on the team that can just kind of help to settle down the team and everything. And then their other veteran they have for that reason is really their two centers in the both 28-year-olds, Cody Zeller and Bismack Biombo, which I think is a position that they will probably look to eventually upgrade in the future, probably in the draft, to build towards this core of people they're developing with LaMelo Ball, Monk when healthy, and then obviously Jefferson, Devontae Graham, if he can get going again, and others, I think they are going to look to probably add a more ample and steady starting center in the future. But that's a big hole for me, which also hurts this team. They don't have a straightforward starting center. So I think that's going to hurt them in their full-blown playoff chances. They're 2-4 and four this far to start the year. 
as I said, I see them finishing either right outside of the playoffs or competing for that playing game this year, which would be very exciting, but likely just missing out. I think it will be a fun year for their fans. I think Gordon Hayward's going to be a great addition. Uh, whether you keep him throughout or end up getting other assets for him, I think he's the best guy to keep, though, because of the reasons I said. I think he would just fit in very well with the club and be able to help the young players. Rozier, if he can continue to develop on that, would be huge. Caleb Martin, of course, would be huge if he can continue to produce a, about a third stringer, but a very good, ample, working guy that's a little bit up from T.J. McConnell's level um, third stringer. And then LaMelo Ball has played like a very, very good competitive player so far. They just need other guys like Bismack Biombo, the Cody Zellers of the world at centers, to play a little bit more consistent in terms of their defense and rebounding if they want to go farther than they're expected. And then they need guys like P.J. Washington and guys like Miles Bridges to step up a little bit more if they really want to be able to surprise and supplant themselves in a playoff spot. I just see them right on the outside looking in or maybe competing for that play in playing game, excuse me. So this has been the NBA team preview and projection for the Charlotte Hornets. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great start to the new year. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Joe Bork for Sports Fanatic News and SteelFlyers.com. Have a great, safe day, everyone. Peace out.